Hello and welcome to the show. I bring you good news as the Dacius Sandero is now in GTA 5. Of course, as soon as I saw this mod, I knew I had to test this car out uh, against the army. However, it's not a normal Sandero, no. I've got the boosting mod installed, which is uh, <laughs> rather good fun. We can boost the cars from side to side. We can also fire it forwards. It is possible to fire it backwards as well. A little bit of a jump in that. Um, so we can push vehicles around. It, there is like a brief period of invincibility with this mod, as I shall uh, now demonstrate. The last time I used it, I was with a great big truck. But uh, even with the Sandero, let's take this Sanking, for example. We push forwards. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a little bit more spectacular than I was expecting. Um, yeah, there is a, a brief period of visibility, so it will still be able to push vehicles around. And especially if you do a side swipe, the uh, AI cars tend to get a little bit unhappy with their physics. So, I'm hoping the little Sandero... No, no, you can't get past. Oh, you survived. Well done there. I'm hoping the Sandero will cause many a silly, silly army vehicle flip. There we go. Right. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, we have scratched the car up ever so slightly. We shall, uh, we shall fix the vehicle up just to give it a completely fair, uh, fair test, and then we will give the army something to worry about. I'm, I'm hoping to send many vehicles flying. One thing I do have to be careful of. I did have a, a little test of this, is that uh, Michael will take health damage from the heavy impact. While the car will still be okay, Michael's health will go down, so I can't actually plow my way through too many vehicles. Otherwise, we will get in trouble. Right, army vehicles out of the way. Oh, the barracks is... Uh, okay, the barracks is a no-go. Barracks is a no-go. We can't bully the barracks. Um, we... <laughs> It's just too tempting. Honestly, the, like, the boosting forward is kind of helpful for getting up the mountain sides and, and ooh, kind of getting out of getting out of trouble. Aside from just you know the causing of chaos. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, without boosting, the Dacia Sandero is, I will be honest, not the best choice of vehicle for off-roading. We've got many bullets hit. Well, this has not been the greatest of starts. I started having too much fun causing chaos. Well done, Crusader. And it's not really, uh, not really worked. Oh, come on now, come on now, get that police car out of the way. Ah, no, no, the, the <laughs> then the barracks comes along and ruins all of the things, all of the things. I'm having too much fun already bullying cars with the Sandero. Right, we are going to get free of that lot. Right, we are released. Now we will probably have to actually try and avoid the, uh, <laughs> avoid the barracks. Unfortunately, last time with the, uh, the heavy expanded military truck. No, what was it? A heavy expanded. I can't remember now. It was something big, <laughs> big, big military truck. Uh, it could plow its way through the barracks. But even this with the with the boosting, I don't actually think it can. So we will have to be a little bit worried about them. Now we can use the uh, speed boost to try and get ourselves out of uh, trouble potentially, and you know to try and get up to. I wonder how fast we could get it. We have still got to worry about keeping the vehicle under control. That's 300 miles an hour in a Dacia Sandero. <laughs> well, um. Yeah, that, that's a lot of speed, but then we do still have to try and, and get it controlled for the for the corners, and especially by the time you are not going to have a good day there, army dude. Oh, I slightly I slightly jinked sideways. Okay, he is the luckiest army dude alive. Wheelie, wheelie messer, and woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. This is much easier using this car to do the side swipes. Oh. Uh, I should probably gone for a boost there. Uh, we got more messed up by running over the army guy than we have by getting hit by the trucks. Again, I should have been boosting there. This one here is actually much easier to use. There we go. Sorted out a barracks. Is it much easier to use that the sideways boosting uh, than the previous vehicle? Oh, and uh, can we spin it round? And no, I wasn't quite in the. I wasn't doing the right combination. So you have to, if you're going forwards or sideways, you have to be holding accelerate. If you want to do the backwards boosting, you have to be holding holding brake, and I tried to uh, do sideways boosting while holding brake because I was going backwards and it didn't quite work. Uh, you can get out of the way. <laughs> this is fantastic. I have got just simply the most amazing Dacia Sandero in all of the world uh, right now. <laughs> okay, we've got to be careful with this speed though. This is a decent handling car, this one. It's a replacement for the Ballista, and the Ballista is a good, a good vehicle. Um, but it wasn't quite designed to do, well, 300 miles an hour. So we have got to be uh, aware that uh, at those kind of speeds, we we're not going to have... <gasps> bus! Bus must get rolled! Okay, but bus, bus survived. Barracks did not quite. Uh, there we go. Barracks is going <laughs> to... 
<laughs> it's done a flip. God damn it. We must roll a bus. Hold on, army. Don't mind me. We're just seeing what happens when I when I bully a, a dump truck. There we go. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, let's go. <gasps> bus. Now we can probably bully a bus. Uh, Brakes a little bit here, and then we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, army guy, get out of the way. Oh, i got to keep going with the... Oh, I've crashed into another Sandero. I do apologise. And, whoop, you can do a front... Oh, I did quite do a full-on front flip. Um, there's a gap there. Oh, look at the flight. That was exquisite from the Sandero right there. <laughs> bye bye, Messer. <laughs> there's, yeah, really wise I Oh, actually, it relatively was a wise idea. I really thought that was going to launch in miles. It did not. I am disappointed. I'm very disappointed in all of that. Ugh. Okay. Now, we can use this boosting as an emergency brake if I can time everything right with, with holding the uh, holding the brake and, and firing everything backwards. See there, we can actually use it as an emergency brake. And apparently that maneuver really confused the uh, army truck there. Uh, yeah, really good idea. Right, you can... Woo! Ah, you can catch up with us. <laughs> this is just more causing chaos than running away from the army. I should probably be trying to get away. Uh, at any time now. Hello. Don't mind me. We're just going to bully your vehicle. Oh, the, uh, the AI cars. Civilian cars. Whoa! We shot something into a skate park, I think, there. Um, uh, brakes. Brakes. There we go. Now, fire it forward. Fire it forward. Uh, whoa, taco van! We are soaring through the streets of Los Santos. Look at it go! <laughs> Around here, you can get some really good, really good boosts. And, oh, that kind of killed all our momentum. Michael's health is doing okay as well, which is nice, and uh, we'll probably, we should probably go back into places where, you know, there are, there are hidey holes. Uh, uh, okay, we can't get in there. Ah, um, hello, Jeep. We can get you out of the way already, I think. There we go. Dealt with you. Um, right, I'm escaping. I'm, uh, I've completely forgotten what I'm, I forgot what this series was about. It's just become bully the army more than, more than versus the army, basically. Woo! Uh-oh, crap, we're gonna try and go on some, okay, we've got about, just about under control. Uh, woo! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Karma got me. <laughs> Immediately landed on. Damn it, I was, I was enjoying the spectacle there, and I should have probably been boosting forwards. Ah, crap. See, that's what happens. I was off the, I was off the throttle because I was getting ready to kind of decide where to go. And uh, I went to boost it because I wasn't... Woo! Okay, we apparently have a small issue boosting if we're on hills. Okay, boosting when we're going down hills is not good. Going up hills, we're fine. We kind of... Oh, hello. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Um, oh, crap. There's some fire going on from him. Yeah, so we do a small... <laughs> Didn't notice that before with the um, military truck. Right. Uh, yeah, things can get a little bit wrong. We've rugby tackled the barracks out of the way. All right. Let us uh, vacate the area at great speed. Now, we need to find alleyways. Alleyways are the way we're going to get away, or construction sites, or car parks. We've got more than enough acceleration. No, you stupid, stupid saber. Well, you can kind of get flung clear of uh, all of that mayhem. Sorry, but <laughs> I didn't have any other option. I was going to go into the back of him. It was just a case of how fast, and I figured, well, if I go on the full-on boost. Oh, Mini. Okay, Mini was all right. Mini was fine. I'm okay. The mess here isn't, but that's all good. Uh, the Sandero is, is looking slightly the worse for wear, which, let's face it, is not exactly surprising, considering what it's been through here so far. You can get out of the way. Did he do a front flip? He did. You can try and get in the way. Oh, I didn't, wasn't, again, wasn't holding the right combination of buttons. Things kind of happen so fast with this. Oh, it's, it's a little hard sometimes to quite get everything right. Uh, we 200. No, dip. Oh, crap. Oh, that's going to do that too often, and I am going to get myself in a lot of trouble. I think I actually might still be in invincible mode with uh, the... Uh, you're not going to have a good day there, officer, are you? You see what I've been doing to the army cars, right? <laughs> and just once, well, once more for good luck didn't work. Ah, excuse me. What do you think you're doing, barracks? Okay. <laughs> Pushing me around. He's still going as well, despite the smoke billowing off the front of his vehicle. Okay, we should actually now concentrate on properly getting away. All right, do the storm drain. This is an another place that uh, can work, and we can use this incredible acceleration to hopefully get ourselves out of trouble a little bit. Uh, let's use the... <laughs> We can use the acceleration to go forward, and then we can use the braking one to stop us when we're doing 300 miles an hour in a Dacia. Uh, oh crap, army army car. I'm over this side. Maybe he won't see me if we're, we're going to sneak. Du -du 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 -du. We're sneaking. We're definitely sneaking in a very, very beige Dacia. Right, we're clear. I hope. I really hope. Uh, oh, up here. Oh, it's starting to rain. I haven't actually seen it rain in GTA 5 for ages. Um, here will do, I think. Yeah, sure. I don't think they're actually going to be able to see me very well. Uh, <laughs> up here. Um, come on guys, 
Uh, I think, uh, uh, to be fair, after the chaos that I have brought to the army with a single Dacia, I think they would give up by now. I wonder what the total cost of uh, that chase was to the uh, <laughs> to the army and all of this. Uh, there was a lot of broken vehicles. Um, I mean, the front of it doesn't quite look like the Sandera very much anymore. I mean, the back's not that bad. Well, because well, nothing really got near us. Uh, <laughs> pushed everything out of the way. It's eaten a few bullets. Glass is smashed. We have got away using the incredible speed and, well, yeah. The, <laughs> the strength and the just sort of fling it off, fling it down the, the storm drain tactic. I don't know what on earth he was doing. Like, he could have he could have come around the corner and seen me so easily. Apparently not. Uh, shall we try to get the Dacia up to 300 miles an hour again? Well, I mean, while we're in the storm drains, it'd be rude not to, really, wouldn't it? Where are you going? Okay, I, I will go and get it up to 300 miles an hour. I'm just curious if he's going to drive it straight down the... Oh, I think he's actually going to try and get out. Oh, no, please drive it into the... Oh, God damn it. Oh, no. We're going to... Hmm. Um, yeah. Hey, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> I was really wanting to go down there and sink it, but no, we're just going around in circles. Okay, well, we will leave you to uh, to that. Let's try and get this up to a, a controlled 300 miles an hour. Oh, that's not a controlled 300 miles an hour. That was a big jump. Uh, well, this is going to have to try and do it quite quickly. Uh, oh, we got to like 320 and not controlled because, yeah, I should probably have waited. Uh, oh, it doesn't take very long to uh, get it up to silly speeds. Oh, no, no. Okay, let's just and stop. Right. It can do 300 miles an hour. It's quite difficult, of course, to keep the car under control at 300 miles an hour and takes forever to get it slowed down because, well, it's a... a yeah, not not expected to. Let's just spin it around and we will go this way. Uh, <laughs> right, here we go. Now we've got the straight bit of uh, thing. It's 330, and that is... Ooh, 330 into a wall. And we're still fine. Still going. Slightly flattened. Right. Well, the army couldn't really do very much about this with its uh, brutal trail. I think it is... Nope. Oh, well, yeah, we are starting to smoke now. Um... 300 miles into a wall will do that to a car. Yeah, in, in, inside the city, they couldn't really do too much to stop the uh, the Dacia. Now, after such an impressive performance, you may well be thinking that uh, this vehicle is, well, nigh on unstoppable. And I would largely agree. However, we're going to try and take this car, we're going to try and do the dangerous road and climb over Chiliad. Theoretically speaking, when you saw what it did to just about everything that got in its way, it shouldn't have any problems. Although there were a couple of times where I wasn't quite on the uh, on the boosting mode, I wasn't quite in the right place, and this is still a little hatchback. So when you've not got the uh, the almighty power in this, it will get pushed about very easily. So there is potential, and certainly down the dangerous road, it is so narrow. If they get a, uh, a well-timed hit on me, or if I get myself in trouble, I mean, I could boost myself off into the water relatively easily as well, I could uh, end up boosting myself into the water. So, gonna have to be, gonna have to be careful. Certainly down the dangerous road, climbing Chiliad shouldn't be too bad, as uh, vehicles that are coming towards me, we can just kind of boost, oh, <laughs> and just bounce off them apparently. But uh, yeah, the vehicles, we should be able to get them out of the way, but it's still, you see, we take a little deflection. Unlike with the large truck that I tried with this mod, uh, it doesn't kind of, that, that pushed just everything. Nothing nothing could do anything about it. This will still get deflected off. It can still bounce awkwardly, even with the immense pushing force, as we see again there. So, yeah, we should be able to climb Chiliad, I think, without too many problems, although it may take a couple of tries. And I don't know how many um, helicopter bullets it will, this thing will take. It probably depends on how much how much boosting I am I am using. Uh, oh, hello, guys. Okay, we probably it's probably better to do the controlled 300 miles an hour here. Yeah, indeed, we do. 330. Oh, no. Oh, no. Brakes, brakes. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> that was where that some, some reverse boosting was very handy. In fact, we actually got away from the army down here. Yep, I'm totally not down here, army. I wonder if they will find me or whether that is a valid tactic. There's a road there, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, they will. <laughs> it was a... It was a relatively good way initially, but yeah, they, they will. Unfortunately, the kind of the cooldown timer is so long that uh, somebody would come around that road looking for you. Anyway, right, small distraction done. We did get 3.30, we just couldn't quite bring it under control again. Alright, there you go. Well timed with the uh, last second boost to roll over the Mesa. Right, Chiliad, here we come. I don't quite know where that Crusader is going. He's parked it in a hedge. 
Well done. Now, to be fair, that is the safest place. If you just park all of your Crusaders in a hedge somewhere, they will probably be far better off than trying to do anything about the mad, the mad Sandero. Or you can just slide gracefully down Chiliad again. That's probably about the least spectacular crash you're going to see today. Um, yeah, there are probably going to be many flying cars. Now, there always is going this way up Chiliad or, or, fl <laughs> or low-flying helicopters. Uh, yeah, the army do like to... Woo! Hello! Okay, that's a new tactic. They were committed to that one. Uh, the army likes to throw their vehicles off at the best of time, let alone when I have a uh, Sandero that can do that to them. Uh, whoop, okay, I probably shouldn't have had an argument with that thing, because now we're stuck stationary, and that is not good. We've got to be really careful not to kind of drag ourselves off the mountain. Uh, right, let's go for a shunt. That's the ticket. Look at that. Bye-bye, barracks. If only every vehicle was this strong. Uh-oh. Um, no, you're going to crash on your own. Uh, they're actually doing a really good job of climbing up the mountain. I'm quite impressed. They're doing a good job at hitting the back of my vehicle here. Oh, Head-on collision. Oh, the barracks actually won that one. That is not a good sign. I mean, we did kind of... We didn't go flying down the road as a, as a normal Sandero would at uh, the, that one. <laughs> Bye -bye, messer. Yeah, we didn't go soaring off the mountain, but we, uh, the, the barracks there took the hit pretty damn well. You know, we can go out this way here using a bit of the speed boost. This car wouldn't normally be powerful enough to, uh, to do this. We can... Ooh. Again, we will take the hit. There's done quite a lot of damage to the front of my car, but never mind. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, barracks change direction at the last second. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh no, we've got to use that boosting to get going again. And you've got to be careful not to overdo it and then launch yourself the other side of the hill. It's actually quite difficult. To, or, or more difficult than I was sort of expecting it to uh, to be here. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. This is what I was talking about with the whole... Oh, crap. And, okay, now we need to boost forward. Uh, boost forward again. Stop it sliding down. Now we can go for some climb up the hill. Uh, we probably need one more. No, we're going to need a couple more because now we've got all the wheels off the ground. That's not good. Right, break, break, break. Bring it back up. Bring it back up. Um... Okay, now I'm going to do this in reverse for, for reasons. Oh, I'd quite like to turn you around, to be fair. Uh, there we go. Oh, crap. I may have boosted sideways slightly. Oh, this is a really difficult method of getting it up Chiliad. I'll say that much. But I think we are almost back on the path. The helicopters are doing a lot of damage. In fact, perhaps the bigger concern is not so much, as it often has been, it's not so much the breaking the engine, it's hitting the fuel tank. That is going to be the uh, the big concern with this vehicle, or with any vehicle, really. Uh, climbing Chiliad. Oh, crap. There we go. Cars are coming. Oh, he's hit a rock and stopped. No, don't even think about it. You can go over there. Uh, uh, well, yeah, that, was a, that was a bit of a flight and a half. I think I've actually got up the other side. The other path up Chiliad, have I? Um, no, maybe not. Maybe I'm just slightly confused as to where on earth I am. No, we have, I think. I think we might have ended up going... I don't... Um, no, I, I tell a lie. Um, I don't know why I'm slightly confused with the, with this one. I think I missed out half the course and now I'm a little bit befuddled. Come on, Sandero, get turned around, get turned around. Oh, there was a cough there. My car is uh, having issues. My car is having some issues. Now we can use the boost to try and get it forwards. There is a, a roly-poly messer. Have we leaked fuel? No, we are okay. Uh, are we smoking? Yes, we are. Right, that is the issue. Uh, no, hey, hello. Uh, the invincibility has only worked sort of so far with this. Oh, we can kind of do something about these vehicles. And I think from uh, what we saw with the uh, truck is that if the car does die a death, we can still boost to keep it going. Although we are now going downhill. Well done. You tried to get out of the truck as it was tumbling down Chiliad. Well done there. Well done indeed. They've got a little bit of a traffic jam going on here. Let's avoid all of that. I've actually now <laughs> got to be careful. Brakes are on. Forward boosting is on. Okay, we can actually do a really good job of stopping it tumbling down the mountain with this boosting. If you uh, get everything positioned right. Oh, I don't actually think I had anything to do with boosting there. I think he just bounced off the front of my car. Nope. Nope. Things are bad. Things are bad. Things are bad. Oh, I'm now trying to... Oh, crap. Frantically stop it from going down Chiliad. Uh, we're, we're now pretty much solely on the boosting. The actual car is, I think, quite dead. Um, okay, we can use the rock there to stop it. Uh, oh, no, car has still got some movement. A barracks has come down here with me. Let's use some of the... Oh, I'm going to have to use a little bit more. Oh, it's trying to find that really fine line between uh, using the boosting to actually move the car and going soaring off the other side of the mountain. Because uh, we need to push you out of the way. You can go over there. We can try and take some very little bit of shortcutting we can around here, really. It's still going, though, despite the uh, the 
damage to it. Yep, we will assault the barracks, and you can go and hopefully clear us a nice path. Go on, get out of the way, get out of the way. Yo, that's gone. Oh, I just saw a barracks ever so gracefully slide off of the mountain. That was quite spectacular. How on earth they managed to slide off the mountain backwards in the way that they did, I don't know. It's a very peculiar angle. They were, they were going down there. Right, somehow this is still going. I'm amazed because it is coughing and spluttering all over the place. But it's still alive. It is still working. They haven't got the fuel tank. I suspect it will probably burst into flames at some point. There we go. And I can't afford to do too much boosting at this stat. Oh, well, that's, that's done it really, hasn't it? Um, oh, crap. Uh, right, brakes, 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 brakes. There we go. Got it back under control again. Uh, that was why I couldn't afford to do too much boosting. I thought I was on a flat enough surface. I didn't quite expect to get such a giant height off of that. Okay, we bounced off a couple of trees. We are good, though. We've nearly made it to the bottom of Chiliad. And through you. Okay, there we go. You can you can go on your nose. Oh, crap, so many army vehicles coming. Duh. That's not the, that's not an ideal line, really. Uh, oh, crap. Um... I was trying to use the boosting there just to reduce the damage because I knew we got that momentary uh, invincibility. Right, you can get out of the way. Okay, we've made it over Chiliad. We have made it over Chiliad. And I, the front of the car is, is kind of looking a little bit more dacier than it was before. Uh, or in, in the previous run, which I'm quite surprised by the number of hits that it has taken. Oh, use that brake as well. It's very, very helpful. Okay, the helicopters have crashed into a tree, and we are now making our way towards the uh, dual carriageway. Oh, that was an unfortunate, uh, unfortunate fling. Okay, let's just try and get ourselves out of here and keep that uh, invincibility, or certainly much reduced damage, uh, going as we ping around the trees. Ooh, okay, we're down. We're oh, we're bounced around a bit, but we are now back on relatively flat surface. That's good news. That is good news for all of us. Oh, okay, little experiment. Sorry, must, oh, must, I was going to test a little experiment, but mess it got in the way. I was going to send one of those trucks flying. God damn you, army vehicles, doing your, you're doing your job. Uh, oh, crap, let's just, uh, oh, oh, I was going to go for, uh, <laughs> I was going to go for a reverse shunt and see what happens on the barracks. Oh, crap, I just realised how low Michael's health is. Okay, no more, no more silliness. No more bumping, well, okay. Other than that bumping into that car. No more um, really huge crashes. We are really, really struggling for uh, performance. We have lost most of it. Um, oh, there we go. We're through there. Nope, don't even think about it. You can get out of the way. Right, dangerous road. Here we come. I suspect I suspect the Sandero may go for a swim down here because while Chiliad, I do just about have enough time to, you know, sort of save it down here, we, we might... Hmm, we might not. Uh, oh, we, we don't really have very much margin for error on, on this road. It's very much a case of either you're on the road or you're in the river. Whereas Chiliad, there's plenty of hillside to uh, be on. And because I can kind of cheat and boost my way up and, and use the, the boost as a brake, etc., I can recover it up absurdly steep cliff faces. But here, it is just pretty much a sheer drop. So, yeah, we, we might be in trouble. And I can't really use the boost too much to protect me. Essentially, because otherwise I will just go soaring off the off the road, and we are very very slow without it. Now we might just every so often go for a burst. Um, hello, Messer. <laughs> Rounding the corner on two wheels, another one. Well, he did better than the previous one. Ugh. We're gonna have to take that hit. Oh no, we're not gonna have to take that hit. That's bad. That did do us in. Well, whether it's that hit or whether it's a bullet, whatever it was, the Sandero's on fire and it's rolled to finish. Hello. Don't mind me. I will have the last laugh, though. I will have the last laugh. You can go that way. We can go backwards. Oh, we can levitate our way backwards. Oh, crap. Um, I don't actually know quite what's going to happen with uh, if we happen to be in the... Oh, we... Okay. That's what's going to happen, even if we are in the, the boosting around mode. <laughs> it's still going to explode. still going to kill us. <laughs> oh, dear. Um... Well, it made it over Chiliad. It climbed the most difficult side of Chiliad as well. Made it down. Survived far longer than I was expecting it to, considering it was coughing and spluttering about halfway up the mountain. And, uh, yeah. The, the toll on the army vehicles is immense. I love this this boosting mod. It is so much fun to, uh, to mess around with. It's, I think it's more entertaining on the likes of the Sandero as opposed to the big military trucks because it's just so ridiculous having the vehicles fly around. As ever, I'll put links to all of the mods that I've used in the description so you can download them. Have a go with them yourself. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.